Melanie Amaro here. So guess what you guys, I just got this big box of goodies from the one and only Gloop Exotics. Okay, so let me give you a little backstory on Gloop Exotics. Gloop Exotics flies in different snacks from all over the world. All kinds of goodies, chocolates and chips and drinks and all kinds of stuff. They get places from Korea, Japan, Ireland, Spain. You catch my drift. So guess what? They sent me over some stuff to review and I am so excited. Here with me, who's not on camera, is the one and only awesome Mr. Justin anymore. And he will be tasting them with me, but yeah, guess yeah, what? Yeah. He gonna give his audio on what he thinks of the of the products, just like I will. So, anywho, let's get started. So, to start things off, we're gonna start with a Japanese product called Fanta White Peach. I've actually never had this before, y'all. I think this is actually super dope that they actually fly these kinds of things in because. You know, you always have your normal flavors of like Fanta, like the blue raspberry, the red, um, orange, whatever, but I've never seen this before. So guess what? We gonna give it a go. All right, so I got my glasses here. I got some ice in them cause it's gonna be cold. Here we go. Ooh. You know, ooh, you know it's lit when it go. Psh. That was a drink we had in Japan. I mean, Shaka, it was similar to that. Similar? Well, guess what? Yeah, we gonna see if it tastes the same. Yeah. What's the flavor? White. Okay. Fanta white peach. White peach. I thought it was white grape. No, this is white peach. Oh, that's been yeah. Go yeah. ahead and slap it on over here. All right, here we go, y'all. Oh, Trying the Fanta white peach. Cheers. Cheers. What you think? Not bad at all. I was, yeah, it's not bad. I will say, it's actually, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. The good, the, the, the good thing is the fact that it's not super sweet, which I think I kind of was expecting it to be super sweet. So the fact that it's not, I'm kind of like, eh. But it's actually good that it's not super sweet because I don't like super sweet drinks. Uh, mm. It's good, it's good. Um, I think the white peach flavor could have been up, upped a little bit more from this Japanese one, but it's really good. It's not super sweet though, that's why. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good though. And honestly, I mean, we do. So from a one to ten, ice. what would you rate this? The Fanta Peach. I'd give this a seven out of ten. I'm cool with that. I give it a six point five. It's not good for bad, who folks. Not, who not looking for something like super duper sweet? Yeah, absolutely. It's probably not a little bit of sugar, I would imagine. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Up next, we have Banyadas, aka Oreos covered in white chocolate. And I don't know if y'all know this, but. Ain't nothing better than cut anything covered in white chocolate. To me, at least. I like white chocolate. I mean, I always am going to love milk chocolate or dark chocolate. What'd you say? I'm sorry, what? I said I like, I'm always going to love milk chocolate. I'm always going to love dark chocolate. Don't do that. Y'all hear him? Anywho. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do the Oreos, okay? I think this one comes from, it may be Spain, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, we'll see. Let's give it a try. Okay, Baby here we go. Okay. All right, y'all. It's in a cool, little, cute little package. It gives me. Okay, I don't know. What? What is it giving you? Bananas. I don't know if it's because bananas. <laughs> you sure that's white chocolate yes, flavor, not yes. banana flavor? How do you say banana? Okay. I don't think it's banyadas. Oh, okay. Well, it is. Yeah, this is white chocolate. You tripping. Okay. okay. I, I've had these before in the States, I think. Well, of course they do. You, you can freeze them too. Cheers. Them. I, oh, Cheers. I'm, trust me. Cheers. Oh my yeah, God. Smack. Be slap. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. Yeah, I, I've seen these in the States before, but yeah, they're good. Oh. They just taste better if they're overseas. <laughs> That's good, y'all. Mm. So good. Mm. If you're looking for something that's like a sweet treat, really good. If you already, I already love Oreos, and you're putting them in chocolate. Okay, so what would you rate these out of ten? Yeah, it's a good nine right here. It's a nine. Yep. Nine apple pie. Nine I give these a nine. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay, so up next, y'all. I'm thirsty after that last one. 
So we're gonna do this one. We got the Sprite Ice. And I think, I'm not really sure where this one comes from, but it's gonna be lit. It's like blue, you know how it's like normally green? It's blue. But let's see. And my ice. All right, check it out. Listen. Ooh! I love hearing it. Okay. See the bubbles? Okay, here we go. Ooh. Yeah, it fizzles kind of up to the top. The bottle, but it's not really blue, I guess. Right? Oh, not the liquid, of course. I was talking about the bottle. Oh. What is it called? Sprite ice? Sprite ice. What is it supposed to taste like? Who knows? Cheers. Cheers. Here we go, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all my first reaction. <laughs> it tastes like chewing gum. Dude, now it should taste like toothpaste. It tastes like chewing gum or toothpaste, like. It tastes like, it tastes like fluoride and Sprite mixed together. Yeah, imagine just brushing your teeth <laughs> and then drinking Sprite. That's what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. I'm not mad at it, but... Yeah, it's just a very odd flavor. It's giving me dentist, though. <laughs> yes. You know how, like, when the dentist tells you, okay, wash your mouth and spit? You be putting this in your mouth, you go, that's how it tastes. Yeah, it's definitely giving me dentist. Mm. What would you rate this out of, out of 10? Uh, I give it a four. Damn, that bad? I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. I like um, the white the peach better taste, that we have. I have to taste in my mouth now, might be... Yeah, might be six. I say six. Six. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with my four. It's good. It's just not great. It's like, eh, it's, it's like it Some just has like a weird flavor. flavor. Yeah. If you love to like have the taste of like anything minty in your mouth, that's and all you. If you, you. want to like drink something sweet and feel like you brush your teeth at the same time, boom. Yes. You know the brush your teeth. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited about this next one because I love. Okay, this one's coming from South Korea. And this one is supposed to be like super good. It's supposed to be like, like a spicy, like vegetable and chicken flavor, I don't know. Cause I'm kind of like looking at the, but yeah, I mean, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what it's hitting on. I feel like I've had these before when we was in Korea, I think. Okay, well. Um. Smell different. <laughs> yeah, they smell different. Actually, they South Korea. Cheers. We've had these before, right? Have I think, you? I think I've, had I've never had Cheetos from the South from South Korea. As much time as I've spent in South Korea, I've actually never had these. Um, they got a sweet, <laughs> spicy kind of vibe. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um. I mean, they're good. Okay, it's just an acquired taste. I think with most of these, the thing is, you're already gonna have certain expectations. Of what Cheetos taste like. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be different. Okay. Um. All right. It has like a sweet, spicy, spicy yeah. kind of vibe to it. It's definitely not like your normal Cheetos. Um, it kind of, Tastes like it has a little hot, sweet vibe. But see, I'm looking at the packaging and it does say that it has um, hot, sweet powder. I don't know what that is, but it's a Korean thing. But that's cool. What would you rate these? Um, I think it was good. Uh, yeah, they're not horrible. I'd give them a six. I'm cool there. I guess six is kind of the thing. Yeah. But, it's not but bad. I think, I think there would definitely be people who enjoy these? Those. Yeah. yeah. If you're a person who likes like spicy sweet, definitely hit up Gloop Exotics and get some of these. So growing up as a kid, I know we've all had our different share of like fruit snacks and gushers and stuff like that. But this one is supposed to be like really super good. So this one's coming from um, Toronto. So we're gonna try it out. They're called Maynard's Juicy Squirts. Berry, <laughs> and we're gonna give it a try. Oh wait, dummy. All right, hold on. Oh, how interesting. 
Here, baby. Let's try these. They look very like, interesting um, looking. They look like little fruit. You see little, little Welch's. Gummy lightsabers? Yeah. So this one's like strawberry. Oh, uh, it's very sticky. It's exploded in my mouth. Mm. Pause. <laughs> Okay. Imagine like a Welch's fruit snack mm -hmm. on steroids. And it has little like juice thingy in the middle. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? This is like a peach one. It tastes like cuckoo smells. Like cuckoo Yeah, smells. it smells like chicha when you smell cuckoo. Like a chicha is usually when you... It definitely does. I smell like chicha smell. Got my glasses and my stuff. I don't, really like, I don't like the peach one. I think I like the strawberry. I like the big, big, big. Mm -hmm. That The last one I just had was strawberry key lime. The one I just had was peach raspberry. I mean, they're good. I, I might get that. They're good. I would eat those. Okay. Yeah, I would eat them. I would eat those. Like um, those. You, you give them an eight, I give them a seven. Those are good though. I like those. Yeah, seven and a half. Okay, I give them seven and a half. Because I like the red one. I think the red one was the... Ooh, they have like a bluish colored one. But yeah, these are good too. I dig them. Give them a seven and a half. So, as I said before, I like chocolate. I really like chocolate. And this one I've never seen before. This is a Hershey's Strawberry and Cream. Bloop Exotics. That's dope that y'all carry this. Because I've actually never seen this before, ever. So it's a flavored candy that has strawberries and cream. It's supposed to be almost like strawberry and cream ice cream, I guess. So let's give it a try. Lift here and pull. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go, let's try that. Definitely smells like strawberry. Ooh, you know what it smells like? Nesquik. You've ever had Nesquik? The, if you have like the strawberry, strawberry Nesquik, milk. yep, it's real good. It smell like strawberry milk from school. Elementary school. Mm hmm Which I never was a huge fan of. But, um. Mm. Okay. It has a very. It's not bad. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. Yeah, as I thought it would be. It's yeah. more creamy. Mm -hmm. sweet. It, it actually, um. It's a nice balance of the cream and the strawberries. It's not, a lot of times when you taste strawberry and cream stuff, you taste like an overwhelming amount of strawberries with very little cream. Mm -hmm. I think this is a nice balance of strawberries and cream because it's not crazy sweet. Mm -hmm. I like it actually. Another thing that I like is the fact that these little like red things in it, it's like the little strawberry pieces, they're like freeze dried, so it gives like a little crunch. A yeah. Little texture to it. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It's good. I'll give it a... I'll give it an eight, eight and a half. I'll give it eight. Mm -hmm. And again, the my, the most impressive thing I think about that is that it's not crazy sweet. This, 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 one of those things that got me thinking like, yo, uh, is America the only country that uses hot fructose corn syrup? Because why does everybody else sweet stuff? It's not like, overwhelmingly, it's not overwhelmingly yeah. sweet. And like, anyways, and with the USD to sh USDA to shut us down. Oh, so God. On that note, so for our last little thing, this one is coming all the way from Ireland. Shout out Carol. Yep, shout out to my tour manager, Carol. She lives all the way in Ireland. Um, But yes, you guys, these are so cool. Look, oh, I've never seen Twix cookies before. I think this is so cool. Twix Caramel Centers. Let's give them a try. All right. Okay, here you go. These might be the ones that I was looking for the most. Yeah. Is it chocolate chip and Twix? I think so. It might be chocolate and Twix in it. No, like caramel. Ooh, it okay. smells good. Hold on, wait. It doesn't smell good yet. But the cheers first. Spit it back up. <laughs> Spit it out. Spit it out. Cheers. <laughs> Jumping the damn gun. You gotta get to the center first, I guess. Mm -hmm. The first bite. I'm not to the center yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to break mine. There we go. Ooh. 
What do you think? Okay. So, if I'm gonna be real, I liked it up until I got to the center. <laughs> he was opening it like, Ugh. What don't you like about the center? I don't know, it just tastes real funny. Like it, like, you know how like you're expecting for caramel to be like super like. Yeah, this is not like, this is like. A weird kind of caramel. Gelatinous. Gelatinous, yes, caramel. Like it's not, it's not like. Okay. It's not smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rich, mm-hmm. Okay, um. I don't know how to feel about these cookies. Like the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's inside jokes. Let me see. So. Not bad, though. Sorry, I was doing daydreaming. Mm. Okay, um. Okay. Okay, so. The outside of the cookie before you get to the center is pretty okay. Um. Once you get to the inside, I'm not really. Eh. Wash it down with some milk. No commentary. Okay. The outside of the cookie was good. Once we got into the inside, it was like, eh, meh, mm. <clears throat> but all in all, it's pretty okay. What do you get out of 10? Oh no, y'all, this is the first time he's actually quiet. What do you give it, come on. I give it a five. <laughs> he has to bite it again, hold on. Is it a texture thing for you? Okay, first of all, I was expecting it to taste, taste twist. These aren't really like cookies. These are more like biscuits. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what they are. Yeah, these Biscuit, these, look. They give me biscuits. Each biscuit. biscuit. <laughs> and they're giving me, uh, what's the name of those things? Like scones. Okay, it's yeah, I could say that. Yeah, it's, it's not like moisture filled or uh, like yeah. chewy. So I think it's probably a cultural thing that, yeah. you know, people in Ireland, they probably So what do you rate it? Biscuits and scones. And what, do you, and what, do you, what do you rate it? Um, what that's not bad. It? I'll give it a four, five. Four, five? Okay, that's where I was too. I was like five-ish, four and a half, five-ish. Um, it's cool. Uh, definitely a, um, <clears throat> once again, an acquired taste. It's good though. I um, mean, if you're looking for like a snack that's like a biscuity, cookie kind of vibe that's not too sweet and kind of with a funky texture, I guess, that's where you want to be at. Thank you so much, Goop Exotics. We had such a great time reviewing these, and I think it's so cool at the fact that, like I said, they literally find all these things from all over the world in order for us here in the United States to be able to try. I think they do international shipping, but I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach their Instagram and their handles right here, down here. So, yes, you guys, I think this is awesome. Thanks again, Goop Exotics. I cannot wait to stick this on my computer. It's lit. Hey, I love you, Goop Exotics. Can't wait to do another review of another set of products that you guys send. It's gonna be awesome.